Turkish really disappointing today, mate. I mean, got to say, good start to the game. Great goal by Lacazette. Great yeah. move. But after that, I, 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 I can't say we can make a case to say we deserve to win the game. No, definitely not. Newcastle deserve to win today. 100%. I mean, you can see the effort, uh, the commitment that their players put in. Like, Lacazette and Bermiang, it was a beautiful start for them. I've wanted it, them to start, assist, goal. That's what we wanted. Mm. But our team sheet as a whole, it's not... We're not looking to next season. We're just playing these games, Peter in the map, playing whoever, wherever. I mean, Iwobi does receive a lot of criticism, but one day he's number 10. Last week he started number 10. This week he starts on the wing, so Willow can start as number 10. Mm. It doesn't make any sense. I mean, the players that he's trusted in from our youth system in the past few years, like Wilshire, like Iwobi, they're not cutting the mustard. So why are we now bringing in more youth players that are more than likely going to fail? Mm. It's, this is not the time to do it, Wenger. Just because the results themselves do not matter to us, performances do. We need to see some sort of improvement moving on to the ne next season. Mm. And I don't see him tactically changing anything. I don't see him implementing any new shape, a way of play. I mean, look at Shelby today. Shelby taught Xhaka how to play the centre mid role. His distribution today was class. He put us on our back foot three, four times in each half. Mm. And I mean, that's what he's going to say. You're saying the younger players, but <laughs> when you look at it, three senior players there today, you know, with the goal, uh, Mustafi on the first goal, Czech, I don't know, I have to see it again, but he's your near it's post. It's a carbon copy of last week's goal. You know, and, you know, like you said, Xhaka in the midfield, very disappointing today, moving the ball way too slowly. And it was very easy for Newcastle to defend against. I mean, you could see with them the, the way they set out right from the beginning. They probably would have been happy even with a point, yeah, right? Yeah, because they're just, they know that they're more or less moving towards safety. Yeah. But we didn't exploit that. We just were just, once we went 1-0 one, one up, we were just comfortable to just pass it around in areas that wouldn't hurt them. Yeah, it's like we don't, they, they didn't care on the pitch. Hmm. What, what is Wenger telling these players now? Because, for example, with 15 minutes to go, Chambers lost the ball on attack. And he fucking jogged back like he didn't have a care in this fucking world while Newcastle hit the bar. Chambers should be playing for his fucking place in this whole team. What is he? What does Wenger tell these players? I want to see commitment. The result doesn't... I don't give a shit about the result because the Premiership is gone. I don't give a shit. Burnley, I don't care if Burnley go ahead of us. That doesn't mean nothing to me right now. But performances mean something. You need to show us that you're changing something. Something needs to change. We can't buy players now, but something needs to fucking change in this club. It, do it doesn't make any sense what's going on. We, we still travel up here only for you to put Willock on this pitch and throw him in at the deep end because he's going to get criticism from today. And it's not fair on him. And players like Holding, Chambers, like you said, Mustafi and Czech, at fault again. For the second week in a row, near post, you're at fault again. What is Wenger showing you? during the week during training what is going mm. on it does, like, mm. finally um, despite all that Europa League we, we know who we got now it's the hard one Atletico Madrid we defend like this against Atletico Griezmann and that we get slaughtered in it but it will be a different game to this it'll be a different intensity can we get through that tie no you don't think so no Simeone is a much better manager than Wenger I know a lot of Arsenal fans probably don't watch Atletico, but you're going to see what happens in the two legs against us. You're going to see a manager that sets up his team to play against the opposition strengths. We don't know what that's like anymore. We have no points away in 2018. How the fuck are we going to beat Atletico? No points. Well, in Europa, we've been playing a lot better than we've been playing in this, isn't it? You can say that, but Ostersunds, we lost 2-1 this year. No, not away from home, though. I'm saying away from home. Our away form actually in the Europa League has been pretty decent, but yeah, we, we, it's been almost like a completely different Arsenal in those. 60 minutes at CSK was squeaky bum time. Mm. So, yeah, we got the 2 2 in the end, but 60 minutes in, they could have easily nicked another goal. And you know us, if we went 3 0 down in that game, it, it probably would have been over. Our heads go down, we crumble, we have no heart, no passion, there's nothing coming from the bench, there's, there's nothing left. These players are not showing anything. The staff are not showing anything. Wenger doesn't show anything. And it's just gone too far now. Like, show some tactical nows. Change it up a bit. Like, support Awobi. Like, he's getting a lot of criticism from the fans. Support him. Play him in one position. Don't switch him from left to right to number 10. It doesn't... For who? For Willock.
exciting news. There's a brand new show called The Real Football Fan Show coming to Channel 4 on Thursday the 19th of April, then every Thursday after that till the end of the season. It's going to be broadcast at midnight and you've got to check it out. It's going to feature fans from all around the Premier League. So make sure you check it out, hosted by myself, Robbie.